Well, you just met the Harlem Globetrotters and now they're back, but this time with a preview of what's happening today at the Imagination Station. So well, good morning to you all and good morning to our good friend Carl Nelson from the Imagination Station. Carl, what do we got going on this time? You always bring something crazy in for us. Well, I thought we got some basketball experts here. I thought we would see if we could actually shatter a basketball by cooling it down to an extremely low temperature. Something uh, like 320 degrees below zero. All righty, guys, you used to, you used to, we got Jet up here. Jet, you used to anything like this? I mean, you guys are usually hot on the court, but you, we're, we're talking ice cold this time. Yeah, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not used to being ice cold. <laughs> all righty, but you're going to be a good sport about this one. We're going to see what we need to do. Definitely. Carl, what's the first step in this experiment? First step is I've got a, a basketball that's been cooled down to about 320 degrees below zero. I'm going to put it on the ground here. Okay. And we are going to give you a sledgehammer. Yes. Okay. You're going to just wail on that thing and see if you can actually smash it and shatter it. Okay. Don't worry about the floor. Don't worry about the floor. Don't worry about the floor is what he says. Oh, my God. <laughs> Very nice. That was like perfect aim. Yeah. Um, go ahead and pull, pull, that, pull that thing off the sledgehammer there, if you can. The cool Amazing. thing about basketballs is they've got like a nylon webbing on the inside. Okay. Yeah. And you would think, most things get very brittle when they get cold, that you could just smash that with a sledgehammer and it would break like glass. But that nylon webbing inside really helps keep it all together. So basically, you just knock a hole inside the basketball. Wow. However, if you instead use like a play ball, like I have here, a rubber bouncy ball, okay. yeah. um, behaves a little bit differently. Why don't you go ahead and see if you can dri Woo! dribble this guy. <laughs> or what's left of it. That's a little bit unplanned experiment there. <laughs> go ahead and drop it. Right. So as that air condenses inside, the pressure drops, and that's what happened there. It just sort of imploded on itself. So we, we almost did explode a, yeah, uh, a play that ball was, there. Uh, that had me jumping just about halfway to the ceiling right yep. there. <laughs> My goodness. So what was the properties of that one? What was the, what was the well, difference the, in this one, Carl? Well, the rubber here is really brittle. Okay. So you can see I can just snap that in half because there's no webbing on the inside to hold it together. Um, and that's also why it sort of imploded there. As the air inside condensed and got lower and lower in pressure, the outside atmospheric pressure just slammed into it and made it explode or implode, I should say. Implode. Implode. Actually, yeah. That's wow. even better. And, and this one's, uh, is that still really cold? You can go ahead and pick it up. It, I, should, I it, actually, should, it should warm up by now. Go ahead and give it a try. Oh, it's still pretty cold. It's pretty cold, but it's yeah. not 320. No, not quite. <laughs> the rock to you, my friend. I mean. <laughs> yeah. It makes the game of basketball a little bit different. A little bit. A little, little bit difficult. <laughs> it doesn't really have much bounce left. No bounce. Uh, yeah, no bounce. Another <laughs> word for dropping the rock right there, I guess. Wow. Very cool experiment right there. All due to the properties of really making it. Material science. When Material things science. get very, very cold, they get brittle. Um, and they also, uh, the air condenses inside and sometimes they implode. Carl, what are you thinking about a little game of two-on-two two against these guys? <laughs> I don't How's think we have a How's your jump shot, my friend? Uh, it was good when that thing exploded there. <laughs> yeah. It was good. Yeah, it certainly, certainly had us jumping towards the ceiling. Very cool. And what do you guys have going on really quick at the Imagination Station with this? Yeah, we have these two guys coming down. They're doing a demonstration for the public. We're going to talk about the science of basketball and also see what cool things they can do. So well, we've already seen together. the cool things that uh, Jet and Firefly could do. They've been, uh, uh, they gave uh, our very own Mike was set a little bit of a basketball. Uh, little, yeah, I, I got to see it. Can I, can I try the finger thing? All right, you could try it. All right, I'll see. We'll, we'll see, see if you could do it. We'll a see if better. we could do it right here. All right, just hold it. Yeah. I caught it before it exploded <laughs> on the ground. Yeah, we don't need any more <laughs> basketballs exploding. That's one of the game balls right there. All right, guys, look forward to that. Look forward to having you guys down at the Imagination Station. Carl Nelson, thanks so much again for the uh, uh, very interesting experiment. We will have more W211 your day when we come back.